Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, the 13th of February, and I'm Curtis Moore. In our headlines, Son of the Soil Super Bowl winner again, and in our feature for this evening, Gold Stays Bold at CSS Sports Day. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. We represent the students for 4A1 Room 2, and you are watching NTV. CSS, we lie and in charge. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. We have the results from round one in the regional cricket tournament. The West Indies Academy versus Leewards. Leewards 137 all out. West Indies Academy 177 all out. Leewards 232 all out. West Indies Academy needing 193 to win. They got to 195 for five. West Indies Academy winning by five wickets. In the match, Jamaica versus the Windwards, Jamaica 159 all out, Windwards 341 all out, Jamaica 234 all out, Windwards needing just 50 free runs for victory, they got to that target 55 for 1. The Windwards won by 9 wickets. In the match, Barbados versus Combined Campuses and Colleges, Barbados 344 for 8, Triple C 135 all out, Triple C batting a second time, 193 all out. Barbados needing 35 runs to win, they got to 35 for one. Barbados won by nine wickets. In the match, Guyana versus the Trinidad and Tobago team, that match was rained out. Now to American football, St. Kitts and Nevis has a lot to be proud of as the son of the soil, Joshua Williams, is a back-to-back -back Super Bowl winner. Williams, who plays as a cornerback with the Kansas City Chiefs, contributed to the tight defense in the nail-biting final match against the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday that was settled 25-22 to in overtime. This was the first time in almost 20 years that a team has won back-to-back -back titles. St. Kitts and Nevis's Prime Minister, Dr. Terence Drew, led tributes to the 24-year-old whose father, George Williams, was born in the Twin Island Federation. Congratulations to our own Joshua Williams and the Kansas City Chiefs on your back-to-back -back Sugar Bowl win. The people of St. Kitts and Nevis are happy and proud, Drew wrote in a social media post. In a celebratory post, Williams said he was happy about his second Super Bowl title, which he noted was an early Valentine's Day gift from the sport that he's married to. We go to break, and when I come back, we'll have our feature for this evening. Well, I'm back and athletics is in the spotlight. The Charlestown Secondary School held its annual sports meet at the Nevis Athletic Stadium on Sunday the 11th February. The distinguished patrons were former outstanding athletes at the school, Pierre Skeet and Jennifer Douglas. There was fierce competition throughout the day and the scores for the houses fluctuated in an interesting pattern. There were such races as the 100, 200, 400, 800, 1200, 1500 meters, along with the historic hurdles. At the end of the day, gold was the house celebrating. Final scores, green 161 points, red 187 points. In second place was Blue House with 208 points and the champion team on the day, Gold House, 229 points. Let's get a bit of the action. I'm very privileged to have the two patrons alongside me. Um, just tell us your name again. Jennifer Douglas. And uh, Perry Skeet. 
Now, tell us a little bit about your school days and what you featured in and so on. What races? My races, I attended the Combermere Primary School, which is now the VOJN school. The races were 400 meters, 200, 100 in the relays. You have any records at CSS? No, I don't. No. Okay, I think the man of records, um, Pira, tell us about your days at CSS and some of the records you may still be holding if, if I'm so fortunate. Well, the last record I had was Ryston Queeley. I think that was the he 400, he brought oh, okay. that one. But yeah, it was good in CSS. I had a, a good years. Coming on to the E.T. Willett Park, I take over everybody coming up that stretch because the race was like you had to get energy in order to pull up so i had that stamina in order to pull up why why didn't Pierre go on to the olympics why i just think i didn't get the push i didn't get the push but you think you had the talent though i think i had the talent all right i'm gonna put you all on the spot what house are you supporting today all of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pira, I don't know if you're going to give the same answer, but it's the all same question. All of them. All of them. All of them. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to wish you guys all the best. Enjoy the moment. Okay? You too. You too. Be good. All right, enjoy all right, thank moment. you. Thank all you. Right, thank you. be the profile of the patrons read momentarily. Jacqueline Brown of Red House, Evening 2, Karyon C. Sergeant of Gold House, Evening 3, Akina Ali of Green House, Evening 4, Malikwa Pete of Blue House, Name five, you get We're about to have the start of the first race on the 14 girls, 400 meters. It's going to be a fast-paced one. Apparently, we have had some issues with the gun, and uh, maybe it's okay now. Hopefully, but um, the race is about to start. Start. Uh, Newton Wallace, Kevin Wallace, um, he has already given indication they are under status orders. On your marks it is. And uh, a little bit of a hush is the first race. Normally that sets the pace for the day. First race of the day normally sets the pace. And uh, well, they're off. One of well, what's going on here? I don't think it's a false start. It's a false gun. 
It's a false gun. So they're gonna work with the sound that comes from the gun. It might not be the right sound, but once there's a sound, says Kevin Wallace, I'm just move with the sound. Once it comes from the gun. So there, are, there was a sound. Definitely a sound. And they have stopped. What's going on here? I don't know what's going on, but um, the track stewards apparently are the ones who stopped them this time. Now, what's the reason? Because we heard a sound. There was a definite sound. So, the meat is after a bit of a stutter, a little bit of a stammer here at the Navy's Athletic Stadium. Hopefully, matters have been sorted out. Normally, when you have a kind of stuttering start like this, everything else should flow very well after that. So let's hope that it does. Yeah, nice weather for the moment. Good sunshine here at the Navy Athletic Stadium. There's a sound, and there's no stopping them now. They are on their way. Blue House athletes making a move up front. Then we have red and gold. And then we have blue, green. Blue House athletes still leading. Blue still leading. Blue. Staying true. We have red and gold. They are distance behind. But um, Tiana Leiber's record might be in some problems here. If Blue can maintain that, Tiana Leiber, super athlete, has a record in this event. But Blue House looking pretty strong and looking as if, well, Gold is trying to challenge. But I think that's a belated effort here. It's going to be Blue. Blue House taking Gold. So there's Blue. And she slowed up a bit to the end, but um, then we have gold, then we have red, green, blue, and uh, two of them here challenging each other, green and, green and red, and then we have blue, and uh, red outside lead has decided to do a bit of a walk-in. Um, she burnt out badly and so she's just going to finish with a walk, being encouraged to just finish with a bit of a jog. And she has decided, well, I'm burnt out, you could say what you feel like. You're in the pavilion, you're sitting down, you're not in the hot sun. You don't know how it feels to be burnt out totally. And so she's going to just stroll in. But first race completed.
So the athletes pretty much using the same blocks that were used by the female athletes in the race prior. But I think we have to keep our eyes at the top. I think it's going to be an interesting matchup between um, Elijah Clark, who made a name for himself in the uh, primary schools. And I think young Newton is in this one as well. So it should be a pretty interesting matchup that. So under starters orders. Again, it's gonna be a fast out and it's gonna be a fast finish. Let's see if um the record by Akadiento will it will last longer than today. It's a start, so let's see. Is, well, I don't think Newton is in this one, but Clark already pulling away. Clark already pulling away. The others are strolling. So I, I don't see Newton in this one. So Newton probably doing another. I think Clark is challenging for that record. He's moving along really nicely, it's Clark. This is a serious piece of running here by Clark. Well, he has slowed up a bit, but he still has some really good strides. Now he's running away from the pack as if he's running a race all by himself. All by himself, pushing for that Acadian to will it record. Oh, he's falling over. He's falling over. Can he get back up? 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 Somebody's closing in on him. I think he probably made it. But he pushed himself to the max there. And uh, my goodness. That was very unfortunate. He pushed himself to the max. He really was going for the record. I think maybe tried too hard. He maybe tried too hard and then he definitely was off balance there as he tumbled over. Managed to get back on his feet. I think he might still have gotten the, the first place. Looks as if he was beaten on the line because I think he came second officially. So it seems as if they're indicating that he actually came second. Under 16 girls just about to get going. Interestingly, the daughter of the patron, Miss Douglas, is in this one running out of lane eight. So we'll keep our eyes on her because we understand that she won the cross country event. <laughs> so let's see what happens. They're off. Uh, they're off. It's the other today. Well, let's In keep our eyes on her. 400 meters. The athlete Douglas is in black, but she's being overtaken now by an athlete in blue. So can Douglas catch up? We'll have a look at the others and then we'll... Let's see what will happen here. Come on, Kai, behind me. So let's see if um, Miss Douglas can do some catching up. But Blue House has a nice little lead here. Nice little lead here. Douglas making a move though. It's a late bit. But the Blue House actually looking strong at the top. Looking really good at the top is Blue House. Nobody's going to catch her, I think. She has pulled away from the pack. Blue House, large and in charge. Blue House, large and in charge here. And, uh, takes goal. Douglas takes second. And then we have the others coming through. And we think we're in
So Red House coming in in the fifth position on the 16 females race completed. Gloss athletes certainly stormed away from the pack. Now, I was talking to Pierre Skeet a while ago, and I was asking him what error was made by um, young Clark in trying to secure that record by Akadienta Willett. And he said he believes that he tried too hard. If he had maintained a steady stride, he still could have broken the record, but he was pushing himself so hard that he overbalanced, tipped over, and fell down. Well, there's an athlete still coming in. Gold House athlete probably stopped to walk somewhere and deciding to complete the race. So we are having the medal distribution. Athletes receiving their medals here. And. Um, Douglas, it is who is making the presentation. Yes, as we get set for the under 60 pairs in the 400 meters. Samari so Newton of Greenhouse is the record holder, 51 points. Clark is missing from the podium. I guess he's still getting some medical attention. going to be the under 16 boys and they'll be getting their moment of glory now on the track so we have I'm not sure the age group here but um, it's a boys event and they'll be getting out of the block shortly So, advice from Starter Wallace, they should be doing this one more time. It's going to be fast paced. You could just watch and see that it's going to be fast paced. You sense that. So, we'll be getting out of the block shortly. Okay. We start. Let's see who is. Oh, well, Gold House is pulling away. He's pulling away nicely. Nice push here. The others are trailing for the moment. So this is the race in which Kaimani Newton is in. I think he's on Blue House, so he's going after Blue and um, Gold. So Blue and Gold at the top. Blue and Gold at the top. It's going to be interesting here. It's going to be interesting. These two, neck and neck almost. You could see that they are both tired, but they are both fighting hard for that gold medal. They are fighting hard for the gold medal. Newton pulls away, Newton pulls away. It's a record on the line here. And then the third place has stormed in with a late bid. And Newton has won. Newton has won. It was a tremendous run by Newton. And his mommy is all excited as we see a blow sadly still making it in. She has reason to be excited, mommy. Really excited about that. And normally the Newton clan would gather in this general area to celebrate those victories. Yes, that was the other 14 pairs. Sorry, the 16 pairs is here, 400 meters. We understand that um, 
Okay, Manny Newton has broken the record. I did say he was pushed so hard that the record could be in problems. So apparently he did break the record. Okay, I, I retract that statement. Oh, they say no. I think um, I that statement. he was speaking out of turn, the announcer. So apparently he's taking okay, it back. No record broken. The record was not broken. <laughs> It's going to be the under 18 females. Is Odima of Gold House in lane 3. Anaira Wilkes of Green House in lane 4. Of Blue House, Lestisha Gumps in lane 5. Of Red House, Latasia Bailey in lane 6. Of Gold House, Kalia Jones. And that's our field of girls for the under 18 category. Chuckster. So we're going to have the under 18 girls to get on the way momentarily. Sponsors for this race. So under 18 females about to get going momentarily. Tiana Leibold, who is um, really making waves in the USA, is the record holder in this one. Under 18 females over a distance of 400 meters. Should be on the way momentarily. So it's going to be a very busy week of Seven. sports here, Nevis, as we get back to that. Oh, one of them hesitated. Well, one of them hesitated. It did indicate to them that if they didn't hear the real sound of the gun, that they should run nonetheless. But one of the athletes hesitated, and so they decided to stop them. Start his orders again. A little hush here at the Set. Mondo. They're off. And this time off. they the all started minutes. running. And so we and have an athlete already pulling away. And the Instead red ready. chasing after her. It's going to be an interesting goal making a move uh, on the inside. And then the athlete this behind seems to have settled for that position. So red house athlete closing the gap, but um, gold staying in front. Very determined move here by gold. Red is within striking range, but I'm don't sure. I'm not sure she has the kind of gas to do the makeup. It looks as if Gold is going to take it. Gold is still in the lead. Red train hard, but I don't think Red will catch her. So Gold, nice movements, pretty good movements, and Gold Red moving nicely as well. And then we have. Just it. Maybe red, I'm not sure. Just missed it. Taking bronze. 
Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton, reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.